must have dove. It on. must have dove, and that is somebody somebody else's bird there. Cause that didn't fill it. That sucker's real cold. <laughs> 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 he asked Larry, he goes, well, Larry, is it warm? He goes, fairly warm. Uh, he's going to pull up forward a little bit. Well, we're here. It's uh, been a while. This is uh, the annual. This is the annual Cheyenne Bottoms trio. It kind of is an annual thing, isn't it? We only get about one time a year now. I know. It, it seems like. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I need to do it more often. I know. So yeah, I only have October to get it done now. I know. You know? Yeah, then you get busy. Yeah, it's, so we're almost there. We'll make the most of today, though. Yeah. We'll get out here. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Uh, it is a Thursday morning, and uh, we are public land hunting with the boat. We are with Larry and Mike. The, the, the traditional, the annual hunt uh, on the boat. We got Jack, Larry's dog. Uh, bound to be a great day we had a cold front come in last night and full moon migration weather central I'll tell you uh, hopefully some new ducks came in last night because right now it's sitting at 38 degrees coldest morning yet yeah it, it's chilly the way the neoprene waders today are feeling mighty fine been having a lot of questions about this new ducks hat it'll be on the next drop which is at the end of October I believe so by the time you're seeing this this hat might be available. You'll just have to go check. Remember guys, if you pick up anything from ducks, uh, use code BOB, B-O-B, real simple, three letters, save yourself some money at checkout. Well, what are you doing, old guy? How, how's he been lately? He had his spleen taken out. Oh, he had his spleen taken out. Uh -huh. I heard he wasn't doing too well. I didn't know what happened. Well, they gave him, they took the spleen out and they gave him six months to a year. Wow. So we're just kind of playing it by ear with him. Yeah. You know how it goes. Yeah, I do know how it goes, darn it. Today's going to be his first day really out doing anything. How old is he now? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, Twelve boy. years old. He is old, man. Let's see if he can get some birds. Today. That's good boy. Good Jack. I some birds. That's a good Jack. Well, here we are. Here we are. Look at the rig. I always show you guys the old rig. Uh, Larry's van. It's a three-quarter ton, four-wheel drive hunting rig, and it's sweet. I really want one. I always say that I, I'm eventually going to get one one day. But here we go. Hold on a minute. Got to untie her. There we go. All right, you're good. Oh yeah, there we go. Pull her on up. I love these hunts. These are some of my favorite hunts with Larry and Mike. All of my long-term subscribers have been here for these for a while. Uh, the, just the sunrise, like right now. Just the decoy silhouette. Yeah. yeah, it looks awesome. What a morning. What a morning. So you can see that light right there in the middle of the screen. That's another uh, boat of hunters. Looks like two guys out there sat up. What do you think that is? 130 yards away? Yeah. Probably. Maybe 150. Maybe 150. This is our spread here. We got out three and a half dozen floaters, a uh, mojo on the left side, and then the old butt squirter right there in the middle. But absolutely gorgeous. Looking. We might be generous saying 150. Once the daylight, once the sun comes up, oh sh! They're a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Now right on top of us. There are only three boats out here. Yeah. Three boats hunting the same little body of water. Dudes all in at them. That's what they saw. Man, we just had a four-pack decoy. Perfect. Wasn't that awesome? It was awesome. It was just 19 minutes too early. Yeah, 19 minutes. Maybe 17 by now. <laughs> I hope you all can see me decent. Uh, how far out are we shooting light? We are six minutes. Six minutes. Uh, looking really promising. Seeing a bunch of ducks. Uh, lots of flocks of teal. Uh, oh, look at these coming. Look at these decoying. 
<laughs> mallard, or oh, those are pintail up for lots of ducks. Um, there's a total of two other boats um, in this pool. This pool is not very large, so three boats really take up the good water that's available. Um, but lots of ducks. This is looking really promising. Uh, to get a good shoot here out here at Cheyenne Bottoms, it's kind of like so. It's kind of like you wait for it, you pray for it, and then it happens out of nowhere. You know what I mean, Mike? I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. You <laughs> came out last week and didn't pull the trigger. No, no, and it we, happens. We we had guys set up a hundred yards to the north of us and a hundred yards to the south, and oh no, that was it for us. Oh no. So I'm ready to get on the board this morning. Looks like we're going to look at Look these at birds this. out front. <laughs> I like that one. Everybody's clock is different. <laughs> Shooting light today is 7:20. It's now 7:17, and the first shots just rang out from behind us, pretty much to the northwest. Let up. <laughs> Larry goes. Everybody's clock's different. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. Guys, you gotta wait till shooting light. You really do. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up before we get going here. Number one, if you guys like these boat, if you're glad the boys are back together for the old annual Cheyenne Bottoms boat hunt, smash the thumbs up button. And then, guys, I want to remind you, uh, the iSportsman's app here in Kansas, um, the app, or if you do it on the website, iSportsman Kansas, you need to check in to your public uh, hunting lands any of the public lands you have to check in now it is being regulated um, and I just want you guys to be safe out there and, and do the right thing legally and, and check in no matter where you're at and make sure you check out there's a group of till out front right here Ooh, group of till out front single coming in on the right ready oh I lost them do you want to try right there at that distance might we might, yeah, we're gonna have to take those shots. This is, yeah, they're they're making a, they might be coming down. You have to remind yourself this is public hunting. We, we're gonna shoot, yeah, you're right. Don't be picky. Be picky, but not too picky, right? Yeah. Oh, see, they took that shot. Those are our birds. Yeah. Well, there's the other group popping off. Oh, right there. Oh, on the on the oh, left. Yeah, Get yeah, ready. Yeah. That was your side, Bob. Like I, I heard him, <laughs> and it was way too late. <laughs> All right, here. God dang it. Oh, get ready. Get down. <laughs> we, we got birds everywhere, and we don't know what to I'm do. I'm going cross-eyed. Look at them behind you. Over to our right. Come down. Oh, yeah. Let's pop him. Shoot him. Yep, he didn't fall. No. Hey, that's a little too tall. Everybody else is shooting. We gotta start shooting. Shoot. Well, yeah. Well, we're not on the board. No. That's all right. They know we're here now. We had to commit. We said go. We stood up. Yeah. There, it was too late. All right. Come on, let's get some birds in these dang decoys. Big flock behind us. Yeah, we were going to watch that side there. Yeah. Man, there's a lot of birds. This is awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. I wasn't expecting this, really. One thing about public hunting, guys. Holy cow. They are letting them have it over That's there. That's an arsonry over there. <laughs> oh, up, up top. Holy smokes. All right, we're just gonna have to do Holy something. Holy cow, there's probably 20 guys over there. That must be walking or something. Everybody's seen this cold front coming. Yeah. You know it? Yeah. Well, we got sandhill cranes. Right. Out front, we got some birds landing. Short stop. Well, oh, look at the flock on the left. Oh, right here, big ducks gonna come over the top on the left, hard left. See him? Oh my god. Oh, he's down, he's down. Boom! Alright, we got a down bird. That's a teal. Right out the back. We got, we got something right at it. Hold on. 
No, he, he ain't going nowhere yeah, for a minute. Let's just leave him for now, Larry. Let's get some birds. We got some big ducks here. This is awesome. Yeah. First bird down. Skunks out of the boat, boys. Yeah. Those are specs. Those were specs back then, yeah. These are specs, too. Yeah. Those four you're looking for. See this big duck? Yeah. A little tall. Yeah. A little tall. <laughs> oh, right. On the right, Larry. Oof. I think I shoot over here. Yeah, I didn't want to shoot. Man, there's birds everywhere, dude. Yeah. This cold front did a good job. Oh, yeah. Lots of birds on the left, guys. Best shot. Well, well, what? Oh, look at these tail. Wow. We got some fresh birds last night, I do believe. Got some birds. Low birds on the right coming through the back. All tail still. Yeah, I don't have a very big window shooting lane here. Oh, on the right. Looks like you. Larry, you're, you have a lot of shots over there. Stand up and spray them whenever. Yeah. They're going to skim your right side a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to start taking every opportunity now. Oh, wait. Uh, it's like at that iffy yardage. Yeah. I think we could have done it. Yeah. What was that, about a 35, 40 yarder? It's pushing 40, probably. Another side of the decoys, for sure. Yeah, we had pitch single. Jesus, how many people is that? Someone has a group of literally ten over there. At least ten. Yeah. Wow. We had such a flurry going there. I was going cross-eyed trying to figure out <laughs> what the to look at. Yeah, it's hard to those big groups like that that are hauling butt, it's hard to pick out one. Stick with it. Yeah. You know? Someone brought the 10 gauge today. Your side, Larry, coming out front. Still loaded. Get ready. Something here. You jammed up. I'll take the shot if. Yeah, go ahead. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, nobody's calling. No. With as much shooting, I don't think the calling, like you said, there's all the shooting going on. Calling ain't gonna help a bit. Not right now. Maybe later in the morning when it calms down. Yeah. Nope. There's a hole over here. A bunch of ducks are landing in. Really? Been getting a lot of questions from you guys down in the comments regarding calling. And a lot of you are saying, hey, I'm trying to learn how to call. I only hunt public lands. If it's a public land like this where there's a bunch of people, guys, it really don't matter. Um, now, if you're hunting like a little pothole public land by yourself and there's no other hunters there and it's nice and quiet then the calling might matter but if you're hunting something like this it don't matter you don't have to be the best caller you probably don't even need to call try them go down i hit your what in the yeah, they were decoying really well. I can't believe it didn't go down. Dad gummit. That's what we need right there. They were decoying. They look like muscle men coming in here. <laughs> the old Jack. Well, Larry and Jack headed out to go get my tail for me. Like Larry said, this could be Jack's last hunt, you know. So let Jack do some work and get in the water and get some birds in his mouth. Once he gets that first bird in his mouth, he'll know what's up. Oh, yeah. He's trying to wind it now. Yep. Oh, there, oh, is it, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Jack got him one. <laughs> green. Yep, green winger. Good job, Jack. That a guy. That's one old guy right there. Up top, single. You guys got to give a big old thumbs up for Jack. Oh, old green winger. There we go. First one of the morning. Oh, there he goes. oh that a jack. Yeah, we uh we had quite a bit of ducks all over us for only having one in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> it was fast action. You didn't know when to shoot. Yeah. These guys over here though. They don't have a problem with that.
I think they're just all opening fire and sky busting all together or something. I don't know. They keep unleashing. That's my guess. Come on, get in here. Come on. They want it, Jim. Come on, and they're still looking. There we go. Now stay low. Come on, give us a low pass. You let them work, they're working. Oh, here we go, boys. Shoot them. I'll stay low. That's a, got, one. got one. That's a pintail there. I just stayed down. That's a pintail, boys. All right, I don't want him to get away. I can go on a hike. Okay. He's a little farther, Larry. I can go on him. I was going to shoot over your head. I yeah. Do it. I, I stayed low. I'm like, go. Yeah. I wish you would have. I wasn't going to stand up. Yeah. Next time I will, if, you know, if I know you want to stay down. I'll go, I can go after him. He's far. Yeah, let, let him go out with him. He's far. He's got to All right, I'll be back, boys. Heck yeah, pintail. That's my first pintail of the season. Yeah, that I've shot. Woo, you gotta pick a bird, take your time on the one bird. You know what I mean? <laughs> pintail on the board, baby. Let's go. Let's go find him. You went. I'd say a good 50 yards out here. Where are you at? So out here where we're at in this pool in particular, there's no cattails. It's uh, nothing but this duckweed. So hiding the boat's kind of, kind of a pain in the, in the butt. It doesn't hide very well. So just being still, getting low in it, it's really the only option. All right, where are you at? Should be right here. Where are you? Where are you at, Mr. Pintail? Yeah, right in here somewhere. Oh boy, this might take me a minute. Where are you at? Problem with the bottoms. I've always had issues out here. When you sail a bird like this, they will dive on you forever. And it's hard to find them. Son of a gun. Man, where'd you go? <sighs> I do not know where this bird is. Did he think it went this far? I don't think so either. Well, now Larry and Jack are out here helping me and <sighs> unfortunately we've been out here for quite some time and I haven't found anything. Those big ducks like that, man, if you don't kill them, they dive on you. Gosh. Yeah, I think we only found two that day. Yeah. That's the same deal. There's so much vegetation underneath our feet for them to dive and clamp onto. Well. 
I guess we'll take another gander once we get light overhead, but darn it. I really want to find that bird. Yeah, I don't know. We covered the entire area. Absolutely nothing. Dang it. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing you can do is look, you know, look, look, look. Yeah. Try as hard as you can. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you guys covered it pretty well. Right? Yeah, we covered the heck out of that area. Did even get in wind of it? <laughs> he, no. He didn't want nothing to do with anything. He, he didn't find nothing. All right, he's going to squeeze by you. All right, we're back. I might go try to look again here a little bit, but I think if he was there, we would have found him. Let me take the boat over there before we leave. Yeah. He's seen me. Uh. He got one down. Son of a gun. Yeah, oh, coming back, coming back. Oh, one. how they spook on those shots. Oh, yeah. They just go yeah. Right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no get loud. Oh jeez. Oh man. We need, though. They're not like that to seeing it, they didn't want to decoy close. We did not want to come any closer than that. Yeah. You had to take the shot because that's all they gave us. That yeah. gum. That's the money. I'll do it again. I think those are the. No, yeah, that's the, the same. Gosh, Bob, you're out here embarrassing yourself. Yep. yep. I think I got on that one. Nope, she's still jumping. Here. How many to go? Keep an eye on him. I think that was her last death death splash. Yeah. <laughs> I had to pump some rounds into that yeah, girl. You did. Hen Mallard down, baby. I hope I got that on the shot cam. She, she, she did it real well, man. Yeah. They uh something about it, they'll decoy until yeah. they're at ride, the edge. Ride the edge and then they pick up. And then they yeah. ride the edge and go away. Yeah. That's her only. That's. I should have known, but I shouldn't have said anything. Just let her come. As soon as I say something, everybody's oh. oh. Yeah, you and move. You, everybody you starts moving. And they I, that's why I didn't get this on in time yeah. because I, I had no time. Yeah. Well, they're yeah, almost to him. Until he gets to the tape part. Yeah. Hope I got that on the shot camera. I really do. Uh, Jack and Larry are out to go find the hen. It'll be a little to your right. Just a little to your right and in front of you, about ten yards. Yeah. Word, Jack's on, Jack yeah, Jack's it. almost on him. Uh, Back to the left. Keep no. going forward, Larry, in front of you. I think she might have swam over there. Hold on. Oh, nope, it wasn't. It's like right here. Yeah. Gonna be to your right a little bit and in front of you. Man, that's why you gotta shoot him and shoot him. Because they dive. Oh, yeah. I already lost one pin tail, darn it. Ken Mallard's a horrible dive. Gosh. Yeah. Hope I hit her. It's not very thick in there either. I mean, you get on her. It's not thick at all. Uh, it's just like this. Yeah. And they dive on you. My shooting window isn't very good. Fit. Should be to your right. He can't hear you. Right there. 
literally right there. That is so annoying, isn't it? It is. When they dive like this. Oh. You got we it? We went clear that far. Swam out. Oh that my far. goodness. Look, Look where Jack is. Jack got it. Yards. <laughs> another don't tell 15 Jack yards. To, don't tell Jack how to do his job. Yeah, Jack's like, I'm. I got this. I mean, in doggy yeah. years, tw how, what's 12 years old? Well, about 94, right? Gosh. Yep, he got him. Yep, there we go. About 84. Got her, I should say. Hand mallard, baby. And come back with a different golf ball. Than yeah, well, that ain't mine, but I got a ball. <laughs> I could have swore it was a hand mallard. I'm going to have to look at the shot cam if we got it. They picked up a gadwall. I thought it was a hand mallard. I could, we both did. Yeah. I mean, plain as day, I'm going to go out there and look. So I, I wonder if I should go look, too. That thing's colder than cold. My hands are cold. Tight. That's definitely not the bird I shot. No. That's a widgeon. And I did not shoot a widgeon. Uh -uh. It did not have a white chest like that. Uh, it, was, I'm, it was definitely 100% a hen mallard. Yeah, I think it must have dove. It on. must have dove, and that is somebody somebody else's bird there. So that's who fill it. That sucker's real cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he asked Larry, he goes, well, Larry, is it warm? He goes, fairly warm. <laughs> If, that, if this is what fairly is, then yeah, it's really warm. <laughs> if your hands are as cold as my hands are, anything is warm. Oh, yeah, well, this is a yesterday duck. That's a yesterday duck. That is someone else's duck, not ours. No. Okay. Well, it's banded. Yeah. Would, would you? Could you imagine if it was a banded widgeon you yeah. found? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to go. I'll go take a gander too. I'm. 100% sure that she probably dove on us, but yeah. I better make a round and make sure here because I do want to find it. Oh, I can't believe I pumped that many rounds into that bird and did not completely kill it. Darn it. Well, just like my pintail, he dives. If they're swimming on you out here, you got to keep shooting them until you don't have any shells, seriously. Okay, this is where I shot it. Right here. I'm gonna scrape. This is where I shot it, right? Right in there. Right here, I can tell. Where are you at? I'm gonna kick my feet along the bottom a ton, just in case she dove, which I guarantee you she did, and clamped onto something. They do that badly here. It's horrible. I can't believe that. <clears throat> um, first off, I can tell you I shot that bird at roughly right here to the boats. Not even 30 yards. Probably That was probably a 30 yard shot maybe, right? So, I don't wanna hear, oh, that wasn't an ethical shot. You shouldn't be doing those shots. That's why you're losing your birds. A third, oh, on the right. That's the most frustrating part about the bottoms and public land in general is losing birds. They dive, they clamp on with their beaks, with their bills, <laughs> to vegetation. It happened to us a lot. I learned it from hunting the river. When we used to hunt the river a bunch, it happened all the time most frustrating part hunting public land duck hunting in general is losing it when they dive 100 percent 100 percent you got a single let me see i'll get right here all right i'll get in the boat boy howdy i've looked spent more time looking for my birds than I spit in the boat. I tell you, they go, they dive, and they grab hold of the reed, and they drown themselves. Yeah. Mo I, like I was telling the people at home, it's the most frustrating thing about hunting out here, because it happens every hunt, almost. Yeah. And yeah. big ducks, not teal. Teal yeah. don't do it. No. Just big ducks. Oops. 
I'm gonna drive the boat around before we leave and maybe kick it up. Maybe kick it up. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Kick with my feet, see uh, if I could yeah. kick it up. <sighs> Well, we got the tops up, or down, trying to hide a little better. They're coming back and whisk around. Four or five of them? Yeah. Yep. Come on. Oh yeah, here they come. Here they come. Doing the same thing they did. They're going down somewhere. Here we go, boys. Should we take it when they come over? I, I can't see them. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be right here. I can't see them. There is. Call. Them. Call them again, Mike. Call them hard. Oh, I <laughs> okay, if they come back this time, we gotta shoot. Come on, come on oh, back. Yeah, yep, on the right. Out front, they landed. Those three did, but where are those? Yeah. They're gone. I don't see them. Well, they're getting closer. Yeah, they're getting way closer with the tops down. Yeah. They're going to decoy right on them. Here they go. Oh, yeah. Here they go. One. 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 They shot and then the teal go right to them. Yeah. What's wrong with this picture? There they go. Got one. Oh. Well, that's depressing. We got to know which way to ride. Are you kidding me? The group behind us just tried to sky bust and make pin tails at literally 100 yards. Awesome choice. Right, hold on. on our right, bombing in here. See him? Here he comes. He's coming. Not on the right, get ready. One, two, three, shoot. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Good We shoot them up. Stupid. <laughs> I'm done. Let's go home. Yeah. Load her up. Gosh. Underway on the pickup. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Oh, boy. Well, we are done picking her up for the day. Got my carabiners. Lots of shooting. <laughs> Not enough killing. Uh, I lost two ducks. Mallard hen. There's a group of ducks. Group of five out there. Big ducks. Mallard hand and a pintail, darn it, and it just really chaps my butt. And it's not the first time I've lost birds out here, probably won't be the last. But here we are, here's our spread I haven't shown you, three and a half dozen. Uh, spread them out in a big J form here. We have a side wind coming this way, and we would have the ducks sit up out here real nice, and they'd want to skim the edge out there. So it's kind of far shooting on this side. But other than that, we took what we could and got what we took, which wasn't much. Do you separate the clear strings from the black? It don't matter? Okay. Right on. One thing about it, guys, if you're picking up someone else's decoys, ask them how they want them picked up, because if you're anything like me, uh, I don't like to go back and not know where all my stuff is. But I'm also not very picky either. <laughs> I'm just like, pick them up, get them out of here, let's go home. And you guys are always asking about decoys. Check them out. These are old, really old. How old do you think these decoys are, Mike? I don't know. Those are Larry's. I would probably say at least 10, 12 years. 10, 12 years old. Still kicking, still decoying ducks. These are old G and H. These are, wow, these are really old G and H decoys. Those are... Those are cool. Well, I don't know, I've had them for quite a few years. Quite a few years. Well, he might have had them, I bet, over 15 years, 
15 years? Well, that tells you, you don't need new decoys all the, all the time. Honestly, I think a floater's a floater and it really don't matter. You get a lot of questions about floaters. Doesn't matter if they're new, old, expensive, cheap, from Walmart. It don't matter. I still use decoys from Walmart. Boy, am I happy the season's here. I got floaters hooked to me everywhere. One thing that Larry uses is uh, these twisty ties. Instead of tying your strands in a, uh, in a knot right there, that right there is a little trick that Larry taught me. And it doesn't kink your lines, your decoy lines. I like to tie mine right above, but basically where that's at so they keep them all separated like that and nice. But that really does save from kinking your decoy lines. Uh, you can buy those little rubber twisty ties at Home Depot, Lowe's, I'm sure Walmart has them. Did you, uh, fill, up, did you fill up your waders? Thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. Larry yeah. took a took a tumble out yonder getting the mojo. It's already warm now. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I was like, thank God it isn't 20 degrees yeah. out. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. It does. He slipped in a go devil. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I see this trench that comes through here. A lot of mud motors been ripping up and down this little channel, and it is. It's yeah. like a ditch that you step in. Yeah. Yep. Look at Jack. He's like, like come on. Listen. Look at him. <laughs> All right, last but not least. Here we go. Hi, Jack. How are you, buddy? Hi, Jack. Good boy. That's a good boy. Well, we're going to go buzz around, try to find see if my uh, mallard hen popped up or my pintail. I'm gonna stand up here, see if I can see anything. It's, uh, it is, it's frustrating, man. You finally shoot some birds, start losing them like that, and it's so easy. That, that uh, hen that I lost was literally at 20 yards, gone. We're gonna look for it though here. There's a feather right there. Yeah. Feather, well, I've seen feathers earlier, and I'm like, oh, well, there's feathers, there's feathers. The more you walk, there's literally feathers everywhere. You'll see a wad over here, and then feathers over there, and again and again and again. But it went down literally like right here is where it went down. See those white shotgun those shells? White, yeah. Guys, pick up your empties. Someone was using white hole to... Yeah, white they got white holes to them. They stick out a lot. Pick up your shells, guys. It's public and you got, got to keep it better than when... When you leave, it better be better than when you got there. Put it that way. I am not seeing anything. gorgeous out here today though check it out it's one thing about the bottoms it is absolutely beautiful awesome place to come experience well Jack can't find it looking for the mallard now absolutely nothing it's crazy well no luck yeah can't say we didn't try. Yeah. <laughs> Tried every possible way we could. Well, this is uh, the little hole. Uh, two guys came in here after us, and this is the hole they sat up, probably 150 yards away from us, and they absolutely smashed them. 
uh, decoyed every flock that came over them. Uh, and I think it was because, look, there goes a big duck. I think it was because their boat, they ditched the boat like 50 yards away and they sat on marsh stools in this low, low cover. And I think it really, that was, that was the main reason why they had such good luck. Uh, unless you have tall cattails to hide the boat, it really sticks out. And uh, at that point, it's not about if you're moving in the boat or not. It's about it being such a big structure out here. Because the cover out here is only about waist high. Perfect for sitting down in and ducking without a boat. Now we know. Well, back home. And you know the deal. Especially on the public hunts, all the hunts in general. When we get back home, I like to recap them, give, my, give you guys my two cents. Today, issue number one was the boat. Um, I've had far greater, better hunts. I've had far more, doors locked. I've had a lot better hunts uh, being outside of the boat, being on a marsh stool, ditching the boat 50 yards away. Um, number one, if we would have had some actual cattails to hide the boat, that would have been better. Number two, where we were, just didn't have any cattails anywhere. Uh, that's locked too. Might be locked out, boys and girls. So where we were, it just didn't offer any cattails. We kind of went in blind. I had a pin uh, that Preston actually sent me and it gave us the general area where we wanted to go. Actually, where we needed to go, because I didn't have any clue. Holy cow. I think we are locked out. Great. But it gave us uh, an idea where we needed to go, and uh, we tried. We got there first. Two other boats came in. One boat they hunted out of as well, while the other boat, uh, they ditched the boat, hit on marsh stools, and shot a lot more ducks than either of us two boats so long story short if uh there's not much you know tall uh cattail to hide your boat ditch the boat don't bring it walk in you'll probably do better but i'm not going to drag the video on i hope you guys are enjoying the hunts thus far this season uh getting ready to go to south dakota mallards and snow geese baby especially a lot of mallards it's going to be green head heaven uh, me and Pete Eddie are going with Alex Russo up at Flatlands. Y'all have been there twice with me already. And it uh, looks like the migration is going to be perfect uh, for next week. And that's when we're headed out. So I'll take you guys along for that ride. As well as the Ducks gear. Guys, if you guys want to purchase anything from Ducks, any of these two deals, or our thermal hoodies, thermal sweats, uh-huh. They're the best waiter sweats you'll ever wear, I promise. I will link them all down at the top of the description below. Use code Bob when you check out at Ducks because it'll save yourself some money. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. I'm going to get busy, try to get into my house that it seems like I'm locked out of. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.